Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. It is typical that at the end of day two, the message is personal. We say this quite a bit. It's often for those in the room. And yet, in the room can be redefined. Let us define it as all those listening. I want to give a channel about discovery. And in order for this to be meaningful to any of you, I want you to forget everything you think you know, just for a moment. It won't hurt in order to, to simply put aside that which you were told. It doesn't, it doesn't diminish you because you can pick it right up again. You don't have to leave differently. You, you can have all of the attributes of you. But for now, just for a moment, I want you to figuratively dismiss the walls of belief. Everything you've ever been told about anything. And here you sit. And so I want to start at the beginning. I want you to discover something. Something that I would love to show you. But it's so difficult. Perhaps in your mind's eye, you can see this all. Before you ever got here, dear ones, before you ever got here as a human in this lifetime, you were actually part of the creative source. If I could show you what that was like. What are the limitations of an angel without a body, without eyes, without ears? There are no limitations. You exist that you exist in the soup of the creator of pure love. And yet you have a name. You are an eternal soul as old as old before this universe, before the one before this universe, before any universes. You existed. And you're about ready to come back into the planet. You've done this before. In other scenarios, in other planets, in other galaxies, in other universes. This is something you do a lot. That's how old you are. Old soul. What would it be like, you might say, to be part of this creative source and where would you be there is no where you know if you ask where is God what is the answer yes is the answer you cannot put a location on love on the creator and therefore if you're part of this soup which is the creator old soul with a name you're with many souls with a name and you're part of the soup you can see everything. You can see every frequency of light that exists. You can hear every frequency that exists. And that means it's beyond any human hearing. You can hear light. The colors are not limited to the retina. There is no limitation. And that which is your galaxy is astonishing 
filled with rainbows, sounds, beauty, spirit, life. And you can see it all. Imagine. Imagine. Old soul with a name. That's who you are. I could stop right there. That's who you are. Not the one you see in the mirror. You're about to be the one in the mirror. I want you to discover who you are. You ought to have chills. Don't you feel this is true? Do you honestly feel that you're just a vessel of biology that comes and goes? Somehow you're born into some energy and then you leave. A flash in the pan existence of a soul. That doesn't make sense. Dear ones, 80% of your planet has the intuitiveness to believe in the afterlife. What does that tell you? It's self-evident. You're more than it seems. And right now you're about ready to come into the planet. You start to enjoy the system. If you want to call it that. The system of choice before you even get here and that system revolves around who you've been before what you've experienced what you want to experience this time there's a name for life on the planet we call it an expression it sounds fleeting doesn't it it's simply an expression of who you are you're going to spend about a hundred years here. It's just an expression. Then there'll be another expression, and then an expression, and then an expression. I want you to discover how old you are, how wise you are, what you know. What if you could carry in to this planet as a child everything you are? The system is set. You've made the choices. You know who your parents are going to be. It's not an accident of your culture. And you would say, well, well, will it be a surprise to my parents? And the answer is, at an esoteric soul level, you are expected. You see, they have something to say about it also. And you might say, you mean, you mean when they were on the other side, they, they made a choice? Oh, no, no. You see, the soul is everywhere. Are you aware of where your higher self is right now? If you can even call it aware, where is it? <laughs> it's everywhere. Let me give you something chilling to think of. All souls are always on the other side of the veil at some level. We've told you this before, but now it's time to discover it. That means before your birth, your parents agreed to work with you. Yet again, perhaps, or in a different way, perhaps. But you're about ready to come down. Be reborn in a biological form. But you're not there yet. No, oh, there's something else for you to discover as you sit in the chair or listen to this message. If it's true that all souls are on the other side of the veil, if it's true that your soul, your higher self, is also right now on the other side of the veil, that means that every single human being you've loved and lost on this planet is still with you at a soul level, at a love level, at a compassionate level, I told you to forget everything you've ever been told, and I mean it. Right now. Empty the vessel of logic. Right now. And I want you to see this. I want you to discover this. I want you to know this. You haven't lost anybody. They're still there. The soul with a name on it knows who you are, dear ones. The parents perhaps you've lost to the brothers or sisters or the children. 
are still there. The energy is different. The corporeal form is not there, but they are. You always are with them, always. Forget everything you've ever been told about what happens after death on the other side of the veil, perhaps. It's not what you think. It's bigger than you think. That is reality. This is not. <laughs> You're about ready to come into the planet again. We've talked about the wind of birth. We use the metaphor because it's something that, that sweeps you into 3D. From the beauty that is on the other side of the veil, you're swept into the planet. Indeed, there's a biological form called the embryo, which has always been there in preparation for your soul. And there would be the argument of the theologians. When does the soul actually enter the body? And we're telling you, when you take the first breath, you're back. That's the wind of birth. And then you come in and you start to remember the planet. This is a precious moment for you, your mother, your father. It's celebrated, the renewal of life. But you're so old. And even as the child, when they look into your eyes, some will see how old you are. The next time you look into the eyes of a true newborn child, dear ones, I want you to look past the biology and they will look right at you. And if you could hear them talk, they might tell you their soul name. And they might say, I am back. I am here. I am old. And you can hear that. As a child, there are some things that go on inside. You would think that a newborn would have no consciousness. Or do they? Perhaps there's more than you think in the newborn. You see, the newborn can't really talk yet. It can't form ideas yet and concepts yet. Or can it? Perhaps the concepts are big and they're grand. They just can't express them. <laughs> All mothers know this. They spend the time perhaps gazing into the eyes of their newborn and all manner of information comes pouring out from eyeball to eyeball. They can't express themselves, but boy, can they tell you things. They can tell you there's a plan of them being with you and you being with them. They can tell you a little about the future. That's the discovery. I want you to see the grandness of who you are. And then things begin to happen and you begin to grow and life starts to happen to you. And that's when the shutdown starts to occur where you forget. You forget about the wind of birth. You forget about that time when you could see infinite light, hear infinite light, feel everything. You forget you're part of the Creator on purpose. And you go to a place of new discovery. A place where you're given a choice that, that is equal. Light and dark starts to appear to you early on in life. And you get to choose. And in this, cho this choice you have, dear ones, collectively on earth at this moment you've chosen well now I want you to go back to the wind of birth for a moment because I didn't tell you the whole story every single one of you has the soul with a name 
knew about the shift. But you didn't know what was going to happen because that would be free choice. Many of you came down at a time when the prophecies were dark. Some of you came at a time barely before the shift. Some of you came after. But most in the room didn't know there would be a shift. And whispering in that beautiful ear that could hear everything, including light, was the creative, compassionate source that said it could go either way. Will you go anyway? It could go either way. Free choice is not the future. You don't know the future. All you know is free choice. It could go either way. You could do as it has been before, as you were here before, and terminated yourselves horribly. That's something that might happen. Are you ready to go? And from the infinite wisdom of the creative source, the soul with a name, says, I won't miss it. I won't miss it. I'm coming in. Have you discovered who you are yet? O oh, courageous soul with a name. O oh, ancient one who comes in knowing that in a corporeal way you might be burned alive, scorched by an explosion that is a flash, and then you're gone. You might have to endure the last moment where your children are next to you and you see them go first. It wouldn't be the first time. And you said yes. Anyway, have you discovered who you are yet? I know who you are. And all of that hides from you. All of it. Instead, you sit in the chair. And you worry about things. What's going to happen now? How is this going to work? Am I going to be able to do this or that? You have no idea who you are. None. The magnificence and the grandness of the soul of the name who belongs to the creative source is totally unknown to you. And that's who you are. You look in the mirror and only see one entity, a biological being with a face. You've had so many faces. So many lives, so many opportunities, but this one is different. As long as you have done this, there's only been a few times when you went through the marker. That's who you are. The discovery not of self, but of soul, soul discovery what I want you to know about that's what I want you to know that's who you are you came into this planet magnificent and now it's your turn to discover magnificent again forget everything you knew what happens next some will say well I'm a senior now, or I'm approaching it. Some young people in here, I will tell you, you're going to be a senior tomorrow. That's how it feels. That's how it feels. And you're going to take your last breath. And you'll be back with me, with the creative source, with the angels, with reality. And I'm going to tell you what's going to happen then. There's going to be a big smile. There's going to be a celebration. There's going to be a party. You did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. And you're going to look back on earth and you're going to look at me and say, I want to go back now. I want to go back now. Now, how fast can we go back? I've got unfinished business. I feel the light. I know what's coming. We've done it before. I can hardly wait to get on with it.
That's who you are. Magnificent in every respect. And you're coming back magnificent. Only when you come back, you're going to awaken with new wisdom. You'll never make the same mistakes again. You're going to be a child that hasn't even been identified with the attributes you're going to have. Light does that on this planet. Listen, the more people you touch with light, the more this is going to take place. Even those on the planet who would never believe this channel, who would never ever go to these places, when they get past the veil and they take their last breath, they will know all. And they're coming back with light. Did you know that? Because they can see it now. And even though they've had a hard life and they've never entered a room like this and never heard this message, forget everything you've been told. They will see the truth. They will see the light. They will see what's going on on earth. They will see the future potential. And they're going to look at me and say, I want to go back now. I want to go back. I want a chance at discovering the light like those old souls that I never paid attention to. Get me down there. I'm going to feel it and I'm going to awaken and I'm going to go to a meeting just like this one. I've just described somebody who's listening, who's quite young and is awakening right now to things that usually only adults awaken to. The potential of the discovery of who you really are. That's the future. That's the system. Now I want you to put your box back together. Everything you've been told, go ahead. Take the little screws and screw it back together. The box of belief we've talked about before is everything you've been told and everything you've experienced. Most of it is linear. Most of it is old energy truth. You have the option and the opportunity to examine the screws of the box, the box itself. And if you do, and if you dare open it again, I want you to be ready to discover the magnificence of the soul with a name a name you cannot pronounce one name that has always been there one name for eternity it is the soul who are you we've talked about soul sharing we've talked about multiple souls together but dear ones there is the soul with a name that is you always you you come and you go in ways that are multi-dimensional you won't understand You've been in many places before that look like earth that are not. You've gone through these shifts before. Let me tell you, some of you have gone through the shifts in total and complete failure. Where the planet you were on did not make the shift, did not change, and it was over. And you came back and you said, I'm ready to go again. Who are you? Who would do that? That is the wisdom of the soul with a name who can see and hear light. That's who you are. That's who you will always be. What's happening to humanity right now is over a long period of time, you will discover a little more of this story and this truth. And the one big thing that will happen, and it's about time, will be you'll awaken and you will be worthy to be here. And no matter what anybody tells you, you will still be worthy. And if somebody tells you you're nothing, you can look at them and laugh and say, that's a lie. I am worthy. Intrinsically, you will know you're worthy. Self-evident, you will know you're worthy. That's a little different than now, isn't it? Have you ever experienced a child, a new child, that's overworthy? <laughs>
who will look at you and will not take in anything you say that would diminish their worthiness. They're already here. The change has begun. Look for it in the children. And remember, you will be one of those children yet again and again and again. And each time you come back to this planet, it's going to be more filled with light. There are things going to happen here. You, you cannot sit by. You said, I don't want to wait. I want to get back because I see it. I see it. You'll have the overview that you don't have now. Have you put your box back together yet? Have you examined what's in it? <laughs> or not? Dear ones, the box is always dismantleable. At any time you want, you can start to rearrange the truth of who you are. I'll say it yet again in closing. Is it any wonder, is it any wonder why I am in love with the soul with a name called a human being? Magnificent in every way. I know you better than you know you. And so it is. <laughs>